One of the most common variants of self-assembling of power supply is assembling the device of prefabricated modular units. For example, when you have already chosen a power supply of the required voltage and current, you still need to select a voltage regulator. And it would be great if it had a display with digital controls. When this problem is also solved, you just need to choose a body and put the selected electronic components into it. Now what do we have? A switching power supply with a 1.4 ampere load and a voltage of 15 volt. A small size and compact product with no failure operation. Then a voltage regulator from 1.5 to 15 volt VM038, a master kit product equipped with a segment display to help you regulate the voltage by a digital control. So you can enjoy its convenience. What do we need now? A body that would match the size of a chosen component. Just search, find, choose and buy. Then a power cord, a power switch, while all the rest are mere details. I mean a fasten and tools to finish and fit our device into its body. Firstly, we put the regulator circuit in a convenient place in the body. I've chosen a color for the body at a smaller edges and conveniently matches the markup of the display and control buttons. At first, we drill holes for the buttons. After we put them in the lead, we mark a rectangle to place a display. We use for this a drill with a cotton disc. Try to cut with a smaller margin. The notch can be enlarged with a conventional scalpel as it cuts soft plastic well. Then we mark points for board mounting holes and fix on it on the cover, observing the adjustment of the horizontal plane. We mount power supply and power switch in the board itself. We also cut out a hole for the power switch using a drill and fix the power supply with two securing bolts. Then we pass the power cord through the prepared hole in the body and unsolder it at the input of the power supply. We put the prepared terminal block for low voltage output right here. The assembly doesn't take much time when you have everything in hand, including finished, workproof units. Try to be more attentive when unsoldering input and output circuits out of the regulator board. And just in case, lay an isolated strip between the two boards. It will be an additional gap as an insulator between the two electronic boards.